Hey everybody, it's United Gamer here. Welcome back to some more Slide to a Band of Thieves. In the last part, we finished up episode 4. As the contestant got away, we gotta go on to episode 5 and see what we got for us. We have a tangled web. 0% complete. Well, that's about to change. Time for a little payback. The Contessa, having escaped us in the prison, is now hiding out in her castle estate. It's a well-fortified, gothic nightmare that would make any thief run in terror. Terrible or not, that's where we're headed. To sweeten the deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until recently was a secret member of the Claw Gang, is in possession of the Clockwork Eyes. The Thievius Raccoonus describes the eyes stopping opponents dead in their tracks, transfixed in their gaze. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with such powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. It looks like we're walking into a full-scale war. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse. Sly Cooper and the gang in a tangled web. Okay, so we're here in uh, the fifth episode. We got some stuff to do. Right, let's look around. All we have to do right now is you can see basically it's a Sly mission. Now this episode is what I also found annoying. Ironically, I... Well, not really ironically, but I kind of mixed up episode 4 and 5. I kind of thought of them as one episode. Um, that's why I expected to have to fight the contest in the last episode. But let's see what we have to do here. Okay, here's the plan. First, take some recon photos around the area. Then make your way up to the re-education tower. Looks... pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. Okay, so who would have guessed we had to take some pictures? This is why I always take the beginning of each episode, because I gotta go take pictures. I don't wanna go do that. I wanna, you know, get on the move on. Let's do some missions. Um, but for those that are watching these episodes, I wanna say, uh, I'm gonna say this probably a couple times, but why don't I just go all the way over here and not even get something? But, um, recently I've been coming come to my attention that there might, there can be a chance of a Sly Collector's Edition. And, man, I would love to have one. Um, I love Sly, and just a Collector's Edition of the new series being brought to my attention is just a great experience. So, um, there was a video that I uploaded. It's like a petition put up to, uh, that we want a Sly HD collection. Even if you don't desperately want one, for those that do want one and you are a Sly fan, help out and contribute by just commenting, favoriting, you know, doing everything you can to get this petition out there. That way, you know, we can get some going and, well, that way you can actually have a co Sly Collector's Edition. They even said something about um, a life-size cane, which would be pretty cool. I would just run off my roof into something. <laughs> with a cane. I would actually put that on YouTube or something. If this were to happen. Um, I would do an unboxing video if... Uh, am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do? I can't literally remember. God, there's so many enemies. I'm doing my best to avoid them and it's not working out. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Hurry. Neela's made a headquarters out of that old bank. It's a pretty secure location. It'll take some doing to drive her out. Okay. Now where do we need to go? Oh, crap. I suspect my camera would have been able to reach that far, but apparently not. But it's all good. The Contessa has these boats out on patrol against Nayla's army. They could be useful to hitch a ride. Why do I have to take a picture of a specific, a specific tank? Because it's telling me to go over here to take a picture of a tank. Why can't I take a picture of any of these freaking tanks? And why do you need to know there's a boat outside? Why do you need a picture of it? I mean, you can just look at it, and there you go. And Bentley's the one in the wheelchair. He's already sitting down. Why doesn't he come out here and take some pictures? I don't know. I just don't want to. Oh, I don't think Bentley should be lazy. 
But yes, about the Sly Collector's Edition, um, there will be a link in the description. Well, no, there won't. Not in this video, but that other video I did. There will be one, so go check it out. Um, comment, I mean, you don't have to put much. Just put, like, I want a Sly Collector's Edition, you know. And I'm not saying all this will help out. But that is what they said. They said, get Sony's attention. And if they realized, you know, that you make some noise and that you obviously want it, then they'll make it happen. I love how I can barely miss him and he's not see me. Come on now, stop moving. I'm trying to take a picture of you. Here, go. What? No, it said it was green. Ugh. I got it this time. Even though I'm about to get hit. Okay, I'm about to get hit, but I'm good. Okay. Now, where's the last picture? This one's actually kind of a little bit different. At least you have to go around. You just don't go into a room and take a lot of pictures. Which I kind of like, though, because it's easier. <laughs> and I like to get the picture one done so I can get through the quest. Or the missions, whatever you want to call it. I'm just way up here, so I guess I can just go up this way. Now that I think about it, though, yes, I do remember this place and everything. Obviously, I remember it. It just kind of confused me. That's why whenever Contessa got away and we went to a cutscene, I'm like, dude, what? I thought we had more to do. I, thought, I didn't even find the Contessa. But it's alright. That's the blip the Contessa used to escape from the prison. Maybe we could use it to our advantage around all these high towers. Okay, Sly. Head off to the re-education tower. I suspect that's where we'll find the clockwork eyes. Well, if it is, can we just hurry it up and, you know, get it? And move on? Yeah, this is definitely it. I remember. And if you want to get these little things right there, you can go ahead and get those. Um, I do realize, uh, I do believe in Sly uh, 4, or Sly Thieves in Time, they're having something different where, um... Or I gotta go, though, real quick. <laughs> um... For those that you collect, there will there like a there's like a trophy room if that makes sense. I think that's pretty cool. You know, for the treasures treasures you collect and whatnot. The door is locked from the inside. I realize it, Bentley. I gotta climb up here and do it because I have a little thing that you put in my bino binoculum or whatever. I remember I got up here one time when I played this, and I tried to make shortcut it to over here and I fell. I wasn't happy. You can trust me on that. Alright, can we go in here? Alright, so there we go. Bentley, there is more than just the clockwork eyes up here. Why are you doing this? Neela! She set me up. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological profile. I know that you're honest. Then why are you doing this to me? Because, dear, you're honest. You see, by chasing after Sly Cooper, you learned too much about the claw gun and its spice operation. It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Neela gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward, you're a disgrace to Interpol. I'll make it my life's work to destroy you. Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device, your life's work will be whatever I tell you. I won't be brainwashed that easily. Quite right. It won't be easy. Or painless. But I will reprogram your mind, and you will take the fall for me at Interpol. Now, just lay back and relax. Go to your happy place, and stay there forever. I don't think they've seen you. Take a few photos and get out of there. No, I've got to help Carmelita. She's in trouble here. There's nothing you can do now. Get the recon photos and come back to the safe house. I swear, we'll find a way to help her. Bentley, I can easily fit through here and knock out the contest to take out the guards and get her fine. It's not that hard. But whatever you say. The clockwork eyes! They seem to be routed through that control board. Get a shot of the console so I can decipher its make. Oh, I gotta take a picture of my Carmelita, okay. <laughs> 
Let's let's zoom in right. No I'm kidding. Interesting. Inspector Fox is restrained in an old Iron Tech 250. Crude, but effective. Those are the Contessa's elite shadow guard. Tough is too sissy a word to describe those guys. That's... That's a mind shuffler. I didn't think they were real. It's made of equal parts science and black magic. Indestructible to conventional weapons. That old terminal should be hardwired to the systems in this tower. We need to find a way to get it online. All right, head back to the safe house and we'll get a plan together. The war between Neela and the Contessa has put the castle on high alert. To get at the clockwork eyes, we'll need to subtly manipulate this conflict to our advantage. Here's the plan. Murray, sneak into the castle and kidnap the head of security. I want to ask him a few questions. Meanwhile, Sly and I are going to get a little paranormal. I'll slip into the crypts beneath the castle and put together a bad mojo bomb. It should be enough to destroy the Mind Shuffler. Slot, you capture a few local ghosts and drop them into Neela's headquarters. Hopefully the near-death experience will inspire her to purchase more mercenary firepower. We've all got our assignments. Good luck. Okay, so now we have everything we need to do. Um, well, we're going to save that for the next episode. I'm just going to go ahead and show you. We have one slot mission right up there, Bentley and then a Murray. Um, but well, I'm just going to save that for the next episode. We got the basic job done. Of course, you know, the first part's always the boring, most boring. Because all we got to do, all we do is take pictures and watch cutscenes. But, you know, it's all good. But stay tuned for the next part, everyone. I hope you enjoyed anyway. Um, see you on a game here, and I'll see you guys next time.